Barbara, I'm curious if you look at it more through the lens of a workforce issue, or is it a you know uh, economic impact on trading partners issue, or or is it both? It's actually building uh, building from the bottom of the economic pyramid. So yes, that includes workforce, but anytime you have illness, even in a family where there is workforce, there's a dramatic economic impact. So, I, you know, I can give you an example of Zambia, where, which is a project I know fairly well. So one of the things that appeals to me about this study and the thought of the U.S. being a leader is the having the convener. We're working <coughs> in Zambia to help provide access through a particular project. We're working with GSK, we're working with NGOs on the ground, et cetera. And we, do we have a legitimate, we being Barclays, do we have a legitimate business interest? Yes, but well, what would that be? Well, ultimately, if you are alive, you could potentially be a customer of ours, right? So there's a view, when you think it, it goes that basic, and, and when you look at the world from, and I'm trained as an economist, as an economics, you must have this part of the world contributing and healthy, and the cost the intervention cost, what we're doing in Zambia is quite simple. We're actually funding nurse practitioners as an alternative way of providing very basic health care out in the bush. We're doing that together with GSK. I'm sure their motivation is ultimately they can sell pharmaceuticals in. But right now there's just a government, um, a, a government. So it's creating an alternative track. There, there are a lot of these, what I would call subscale projects occurring all around the world with people with all who need to have the government impact and need to be able to focus on how to scale and how to deal with those particular issues. This, and they are mostly NCD type issues. We're not talking about uh, the you know, communicable diseases. Those are clearly a major issue, but setting aside, these are lifestyle issues. So we view it as economic, um, bottom of the pyramid growth and, uh, and growing from our perspective in business. I know major International corporations view these markets, developing markets, as where global growth will come from over the next 20 years. Tom, you talked a lot about the, the bilateral consideration.